welcome you all students today we are going to talk about what is linguistics this is our lecture number one and this topic is from the lecture series program linguistics part one english 102 today i'm going to talk about the definition of linguistics i'm going to explain what is the term linguistics areas of linguistics what areas we discuss and what is the nature of linguistics this is a very essential topic to be learned. So without a further go, let's talk about our today's topic. Here is the definition. What is linguistics? This word linguistics is a noun, which means the study of language. And here is another term linguistic, not the linguistics, which is an adjective. It is taken from Latin language, linga, means tongue, and istics means knowledge or science. It is a scientific study of language because we scientifically study about sounds from where these sounds are been produced and what are the organs of speech that are involved to produce sounds. Thus, linguistics literally means the scientific study of language. So this is to the point a very simple definition that is mostly asked by the students that what is linguistics. So linguistics is actually the scientific study of language. Here is another linguist, R.H. Robbins. He explained about linguistics and he said linguistics is concerned with human language as a universal and recognizable part of human behavior and of the human faculties in 1985. So according to him, linguistics is actually human behavior and it is uh, the human faculties that they make human sounds or human language for exchange of messages. So basically linguistics are, is the study of language which is human behavior. The term linguistics was first attested in 1847 as the scientific study of language. This is a definition we already have learned, but this definition or this study started in 1847. Before that, it was the term philology used as the study of language. Before that, it was only the study of language, and now today, from 1847 till now it is scientific study of language because we consider language is actually or uh, could be scientifically learned. There are many different areas of investigations and what are those areas of investigations within this subject? Phonetics, which is a study of speech sounds in their physical aspects. In phonetics, we study about the speech sounds. Here is another area of investigation in linguistics, and that is morphology, the study of the formation of words, how words are formed in a language. And number three, that is syntax, the study of the formation of sentences, how sentences are been formed, semantics, the study of meaning. So these are a few areas of uh, the study of linguistics within the subject of linguistics we investigate or invest our time to study about these terms here students aside from language structure other perspectives on language are presented in specialized or interdisciplinary branches so with the help of other branches we also study linguistics like historical linguistics in which we study uh, historical words or history of language. Here is another term that is known as sociolinguistics. We study about society and linguistics, psycholinguistics. We study about psychology and linguistics, ethnolinguistics or ethnographical linguistics. Dialectology, 
and neurolinguistics means neurology and linguistics so there are as well other branches of linguistics which are known as interdisciplinary branches with the help of other branches we also study linguistics here it is usually the students they study about linguistics it is studies language as universal and recognizable part of human behavior mean to say language is human behavior thus linguistics is that science which studies the origin organization nature and development of language descriptively historically comparatively and explicitly it formulates the general rules related to language here we study that what is the nature of language how language developed what is the origin of languages and we study languages descriptively how they are been used what is the historical study of languages we compare languages and this is how and we make the rules in language linguistics answers the questions so there are various questions related to language which are answered in the subject of linguistics so here are a few questions like what is difference between a knight and nef what do you eat with your goatee do sentences grow on trees number 4 who taught you to speak linguistics can help us to find the answers so these are very stupid questions like but linguistics is the study of language that we have to answer these stupid questions so let's begin the answers one by one to them number one question what is the difference between knight and a nev so the only difference according to linguistics is time how and why nev and knight both mean boy ones so both the words having meaning boy ones they now mean opposing things now they have different meanings these both words ones have the same meanings now they have the different meanings meanings of words and pronunciation change over time nev a boy servant once upon a time it was its meaning but today nev mean to say a villain or dishonest person today or knight once upon a time it was a boy servant but today knight mean to say a warrior so there happened change in the meanings of the words now this is the difference between knight and a nev so this has been answered by linguistics that once these both terms have same meaning but today it is having difference so this is study in linguistics we call it etymology or historical linguistics etymology is a study of the historical development of words which is a part of historical linguistics here is another stupid question and that is what do you eat with goti the answer is chips why if we take gh from laugh means laugh fair or the o from woman or and the ti from nation means sure the word goti is fair a uh, sure means what it it happens fish can be pronounced fish fair a uh, sure fish we spell some words in english in ways which bear no resemblance to the way they are pronounced so there are various words in english language which are having different spellings and their uh, pronunciation is very different like the word knowledge now knowledge is having a very different spelling but it has different pronunciation like the word com and so on goti was invented this term is not very new but this term was actually invented by george bernard shaw to talk about the illogicality of english spelling or english language here uh, we study actually phonetics and phonology is uh, the branch of linguistics in this 
branch of linguistics, we answer the questions like, what do you eat with goti? These are the areas of linguistics that deal with the study of the sound system of a language phonology and the scientific study of a speech process of phonetics. Here is another stupid question that is, do sentences grow on trees? The answer is yes. So why and how? Sentences are a structured chain of words. The chain of words, sentences grow on trees, is recognizable at a well-formed sentence of English. By contrast, sentences grow trees on our trees on grow sentences are simply word salat. One way to show that sentences have a structure is to identify which words go together to form units and so on. Trees is a unit where do sentences grow. Let's talk about its answer without going through this text. So here is the answer. Sentences also grew on trees like this. Sentences grew on trees. This is a sentence, but this sentence is made up of like tree. So there is a structure of every sentence. Sentences consist upon like as means sentence consist upon noun, phrase, noun, verb, phrase, verb. And here is in a preposition phrase, so preposition on and noun phrase, noun. So this is actually a tree-like structure in language. So this is uh, actually, these are the abbreviations we used in that sense. The relations of words and sentences is a, from a branch of linguistics called syntax. So this is the study of syntax that we do is study to answer the questions like this. Here is another stupid question and it is who taught you to speak? So our usually answer you did mean to say parents. Why? You might think that it is your parents who taught you how to speak, but you have really taught yourself. Certainly, your parents offer you the model of language or languages you are going to learn, but you came into the world equipped with a kind of ready-made language processor that helped you to sort out how the language you were hearing actually worked. So, according to linguistics, our linguists, that we all the speakers have a processor and uh, that processor is having a chip that is a built-in chip and we naturally having capacity to speak language that's why we speak nobody teaches us we learn language ourselves so this is the this study is known as language acquisition this is a branch of linguistics that studies the ways in which children learn language when linguistics looks at how we learn a second or foreign language this is called second language acquisition so I'm very fed up with answering so many questions. I'm going to wind up uh, telling you precisely what linguistics is. Linguistics is a scientific study of language. It is a subject whose practitioners devote their energy to understanding why human language is the way it is. They study the history, acquisition, structure, and use of as many languages as possible, it would be nice to study them all. Since language enters into almost every area of human activity, the application of linguistics analysis can be extremely broad, encompassing almost any area where language is practical concern. So because of the scope of language, we must say everywhere there is a scope of linguistics because all the things the analysis is done through language for example these are a few areas there where we use our where language or linguistics has been used like language learning and teaching language and new technologies writing systems dictionaries translation language issues multilingual societies linguistic difficulties communication between different social cultural ethnic groups endangered languages, linguistics input to computer systems.